Alan was watching my show during a fight with his girlfriend, Liz. And as soon as the fight was over, he called me for help. <laughs> they were fighting because Alan believes Liz was hooking up with a coworker who happens to be Alan's arch enemy. <laughs> but according to Liz, Alan is the cheater. She says, she says he still communicates with his exes and claims that all the women he brings over are just his best friends. How would you describe your relationship? Toxic right now. We each accuse each other. He thinks he's Mr. Perfect, but he accuses me just as much as I do him. Everything. Are you a jealous woman? Yes, I can be. Yeah, and why is that? Because his phone is full of women. That's all I see on his phone. He had his ex-woman on the phone with her boobs out, accusing me of being- What do being... you mean her boobs were out? Her breasts were hanging right out on face chat, well, FaceTime. Well, I mean, they weren't exposed. Yes, yes, she she's, had- She's just face chatting them and her boobs <laughs> are, really? Yeah, and she had a girl there with her too that had her shirt off too. Well, who's not gonna <laughs> wanna do that? Right, I mean, right. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and he's accusing me of my coworker. So, what do you, so you see this, what do you say to him? I told him, you better hang up the phone right now. <laughs> and I said, I mean it, hang and, it up. And did he? No, so I grabbed something <laughs> and I said, you're gonna hang up the phone and he didn't. So I swung it at him and tried to knock his phone out of his hand. Did, uh, were, were, were you able to do that? Yes, yes you, I like, did, yeah. I broke his phone. <laughs> uh, is it true that you don't allow him to have female friends? Absolutely. Because he always has me block every guy in my phone. And you block them? You block yes, the guys? I, yes, I block okay, them. So here's where I have a problem. You're both 36 years old. Yes. You're not, you know, 21 years old, you're 36. Why are you and your boyfriend acting like nut jobs? Well, I think, you know, it's contagious. <laughs> <laughs> Alan's personality is contagious. <laughs> being, being a nut job is contagious. Absolutely. Yeah. It, you, I think you're right. So what about the situation with this coworker? Did you hook up with this guy? Absolutely and Don't not. lie to me, don't lie to me. No. <laughs> no, I did not. You, you sure? I actually told him that I was in a relationship with Alan and we cannot be messaging. Alan thought I should have blocked him. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the right. accusations. Exactly. I, you can't have male friends, he can't have female friends. Why would the two of you stay together? Tell me what you couldn't live without from Alan. Uh. <laughs> You're right. All right, let's meet Alan. You're the crazy one, Alan. You're always accusing me. And you I'm tired me. of you, you making me look. No, you, you accuse me, so I accuse you back. Hey, what do you love about her? Huh? I think it's because she's crazy. <laughs> you love her because yeah. she's crazy. You know, we've talked about this, right, Mike? Yeah. Crazy is fun for like a week, but then crazy becomes very tiring, and it wears on you, and it drives you Crazy. Yeah. And you're just as crazy as I am, Alan. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and I am here for the truth. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help. Why is there no trust in this relationship? I think it's bag baggage from her past and how everything was at the beginning. Yeah. The beginning of the relationship. What happened in the beginning? You know, he lied to me about his... Uh, best friend and stuff like that. You lied. It didn't matter if you cheated or not. You still lied to me. About what? About taking her home or whatever you say you were doing. And did you lie to him in the beginning? 
Yes, he lied to me. She was on like a cushion thing, and she was texting somebody. I got up to see who she was texting. She was texting the dude she was messing with before me. Is That's that right. true? Yes. Why, why were you doing that? Because I found you with your ex-girlfriend with her boobs hanging out on okay, the phone. That, that was okay, after but that. What are you, so you're on the cushion, you're texting this dude, your ex. What are you texting him? He was messaging me, and I, I really don't remember yeah, what you I was texting, but I, I was responding, yes. Yeah, sexually. No. Sexual flavor. No. <laughs> no, it was nothing like that. All right, Alan, you're up first. All right. <laughs> you said that very nervously. <laughs> uh, Alan, we asked him, since being in a relationship with Liz, have you had sexual intercourse with your best friend? He answered no. Since being in a relationship with Liz, have you had any sexual contact with your best friend? He answered no. Since being in a relationship with Liz, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman other than Liz? He answered no. Since being in a relationship with Liz, have you had any sexual contact with any other woman other than Liz? He answered no. The results came back the same to each of those questions, and it came back that Alan told the truth. Yes! I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. In your face! <laughs> <laughs> But now that you pass, you're going to go home and sleep with your best friend. No. <laughs> I guess we'll be back in six months. Liz, you took a lot of tech to test. And we asked you, since being in a relationship with Alan, have you had sexual intercourse with your former coworker? She answered no. Since being in a relationship with Alan, have you had any sexual contact? with your former co-worker? She answered no. Since being in a relationship with Alan, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man other than Alan? She answered no. Since being in a relationship with Alan, have you had any sexual contact with any other man other than Alan? She answered no. And the results of her lie detector test is that she told the truth. I'm sorry for all this. Me too. Now we can move on. What's that? Now we can move on and So there'll go. never be any more craziness? There might be, but not <laughs> like this. Not like this. And you say, even though you got a free pass to cheat now, you won't take it. No. <laughs> well, how about you? You got a free pass, too. No. You're not going to take it. No. So you'll let us know when you guys are getting married? Absolutely. All right. Good luck to you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action.